So the University of Chicago has an asthma and COPD center, and it, with it, which with a number of physicians and nurses, and we collaborate with surgeons and uh, and other personnel involved in the management of patients with COPD, and so. Um, we really have, we're one of the, the expert centers in the country to provide care for people with both early, middle, and late stages of COPD. Uh, we have a, a, very, um, uh, a very good transplantation program as well for people at the very end stages of COPD who, in whom medications alone are, are no longer helpful. Um, the, other, uh, the other resource that's available at the University of Chicago Medical Center is we have a formal smoking cessation program. And in this program, we have both counseling and we provide medications as well. And these medications are under the supervision of a counselor along with physicians who have expertise in smoking cessation. So really, uh, for people who smoke, uh, who may not have yet developed disease, uh, there are resources available at the University of Chicago to help you quit or at least help you uh, cut down the number of cigarettes you use. And for patients who have actually developed lung disease or other conditions, there are a number of expert centers here with physicians and nurses and other personnel to, uh, to help, you, uh, uh, help, help, help you feel better and help hopefully reverse any damage that, that you may have, may have had. The, the University of Chicago also has a number of research projects related to, uh, to COPD and to smoking cessation, actually. Um, so we have a variety of, of studies related to different medications that are being developed. We collaborate with the pharmaceutical industry and the Respiratory Clinical Research Center at the University of Chicago conducts a number of clinical trials that, uh, that patients might be interested in joining. Um, in some cases, they involve studying uh, different devices or surgical treatment options as well. And so all of those are available for people who are interested in research or in whom medications that are currently or treatment options that are currently in use are ineffective. There are a variety of studies they can join. There are also uh, studies that we're doing in smoking cessation as well that, uh, that might be of use both in terms of developing new medications but also um, in new ways of using the medications we already have. And, and for many of these studies, uh, participation is, um, uh, is encouraged and we're, we're eager and excited for people to, to let us know if they're interested in joining research.